We are taking you now to the First Federal Community Bank, where we are going to talk to cash management specialist Suzanne Moore this morning. Suzanne, how are you today? I'm great, Brad. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I always like to talk to you, so that makes me feel good. And uh, we appreciate you coming on here. Um, what? Absolutely. We, we didn't uh, rehearse this or anything, but um, what is a cash management specialist? It sounds like we all should have one of those. <laughs> Well, if you have a business, you definitely need to have one of those, yeah. and that's what I do here at First Federal. I work with all of our business customers to make sure that they have all the products and services that they need to efficiently run their business and make everything a much smoother um, operation for them as far as banking goes. Well, yeah, you're right. Everybody, uh, every business certainly needs that kind of uh support, I'm, I'm going to say. And uh, one of the things that I know you have to deal with, and it seems like you know, maybe we just hear about it more, but it seems like we're dealing with more and more fraud and more different types of fraud. Can you kind of tell us some of the things that you're seeing? Well, sadly, that's a true statement. It, not a day goes by here at First Federal that we are not dealing with some type of fraud. And very often it is with our business customers it's amazing in the last few years how tricky and uh, under the radar these fraudsters have become. Mm -hmm. And you have to be on your toes at all times to be looking out for yourself or your business. I mean, th these things happen to our retail customers also, but particularly in business, um, they have to be very careful. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have seen so much different type of fraud in the last couple years, and that's what's really startling. But we do have a product that does help with that. It's called Positive Pay. That's part of our online banking suite of products that we have for our business customers, and it allows them to screen their checks and their um, electronic debits coming out of any designated checking account prior to them actually debiting from their checking account. So they get a last look, so to speak, to make sure that no fraud has been perpetrated. And if they, if we spot that there has been fraud, then they can decline that hitting their account and they don't lose the thousands of dollars that they could if they don't have positive pay. Well, and I'm assuming that saves you and them a lot of additional, let's call it paperwork, right? Oh my gosh, a lot of paperwork, a lot of changes for the business, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and it's just a real headache if it happens to any of our business customers. Well, that's why we try to. Yeah, I was going to say, that's why you sure have that positive pay. <laughs> that's right. That's right. We try to make sure that we catch it before it actually happens. Uh, and again, these innovations, you're, you're keeping up as the. Uh, schemers are inventing something new and and then you uh, have a way to grab that and then move on, right? Yes, we actually do. And our product evolves with the time. So it's changing all the time. We're going to be adding a new feature to that um, in July. So it's not something that you have it and then it never changes. It changes to keep up with the new types of fraud we're seeing. And one of the things that we've seen a lot of, this positive pay doesn't actually catch this, but what we're seeing is that fraudsters are getting into email chains between our business customer and their vendors, and they're inserting an email that seems to be part of the request or the back and forth conversation, and it's actually a fraudulent email, but it looks like it's coming from whoever you're already having that email conversation with. So that is something we've seen a lot of recently. We've seen a lot of um, kind of fake money, um, those types of things that are different, things that are um, one of the things that we saw last week were, were bills trying to be passed that were actually movie set bills, and it was fake money that was actually stamped that it was for a movie set, mm -hmm. but, you know, if the tellers and consumers and businesses aren't paying attention, you can easily, easily be fooled by that because well, it looks so much like the real thing. Yeah, that's, that's for certain. Hey, you talked about uh, growing and changing with the times, and that's a lot of time because the bank is celebrating a huge anniversary in August. Tell us how many years that is. 
Well, First Federal Community Bank will be 125 years old wow. this year. Yeah, isn't that hard to believe? It there is. aren't very many institutions or things that have been around that long and have um, been part of the community for so many years. Suzanne, and let's let's say this out loud. That was 1898. That's hard to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it is crazy. And so we're just so excited that we are going to hit that milestone this year. And so we have an anniversary uh, planned, uh, parties planned at each of our branches on August 18th. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun and uh, a lot of good memories. I know uh, none of the current employees have been there the whole time, but uh, some of them have, have been there for uh, a long time. And the customers, we hope, will be there for a long time too, right? Absolutely. They've come to depend on us, and we plan to be here for many more years in the future. And one of the reasons they will is because it's a great place to work, and we don't just say that. You have documentation. We do. We have been designated by our own employees as a great place to work for many years running now, um, which is the best type of label that you can be given when it's coming from your own employees. So we're very excited about that. We continue to hire at each of our locations. But the wonderful thing is we have other things in place besides just a job when you come work at First Federal. We have wellness programs, smart money programs, programs to help you achieve superior customer service, which is what we always want to give to all of our customers. And if I'm not mistaken on your webpage, that's one thing you can look into is the career opportunities, is it not? Absolutely, and it's been wonderful because it's, it's a, we have a mentoring program internally to help younger folks that come in and might think they want to have a career in banking. So we have put that in place recently and lots and lots of training uh, to help everyone keep up with the new trends, fraud especially, um, and then everything else that goes along with the banking world. So if I'm a potential customer, or if I'm thinking about my business, or if I'm thinking I might want a banking career, or if I've just got questions about my checking account or something, um, can you tell us how to get to the webpage, or maybe is there also a, a phone number that works with that as well? I think the webpage, Brad, is probably the best idea because you can look up and see several things and get answers mm -hmm. to several questions. So they would simply go to www.firstfed.com, and you're going to see a lot of information, both for personal growth, if you become an employee here, what positions we are hiring for, and then, of course, all of the services that we offer to our customers and our businesses. Yes. All right. Well, we appreciate the information that you've given us. Thanks for being on this morning. and. Uh, Good luck uh, lassoing those bad guys because that always makes me happy when they get caught. Makes me happy too. <laughs> but it does. <laughs> Suzanne, thank you. Have a good day. Okay, Brad. Thank you. All right. You bet. That is Suzanne Moore, cash management specialist at First Federal Community Bank, our guest this morning here on the 830 High Beam on the Tusk.